Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are taking a look at another light. This is another light from Through Night. This is going to be the Catapult Mini. The Catapult Mini is going to be the small version of this guy right here, which I have reviewed on the channel. So if you haven't seen that one, go check it out. I mean, as you can see right away from the packaging, you know, it is a lot smaller, but uh, let's open this thing up and let's see first off what is in the box. In the packaging, you got your flashlight as well as a couple accessories, which is going to include you know your charging cable as you guys can see this is a USB-C as well as you got a lanyard a couple o-rings and the manual that's pretty much it all right so taking a look at the light here all right this thing is pretty small and as you can see it does have that same catapult shape it definitely looks like a mini version of this one as far as the feel it has that same ruggedness uh, same aluminum body it has one button on the side there it does not have a like a trigger button back here or a tail end button all your controls are going to be from this one button here on the other side it has the cover you know and there's your USB-C connection and it's going to be a smooth reflector lens all right so as far as the power on this little thing uh this is going to go as bright as 680 lumens which is uh pretty bright definitely more than the average person would need it's also going to have a couple different steps which just like all of the there are other lights, almost every light, it kind of goes through a Firefly, low, medium, high, and then to the turbo. The 680 is the turbos. All right, so to get to the Firefly mode, what you do is when the light is off, you long press it. And then once it's on here on the Firefly mode, then all you do is hold down the button and it'll cycle through the modes. You hold it down, it'll go to your low mode, and that'll be 21 lumens. Hit it again. It's going to go to your medium mode that's going to be 96 lumens hit it again and that's going to be your high 235 lumens and then you can just cycle through them and then stop wherever you need it to stop now as far as the firefly mode it, it will run 106 hours if left on the low mode 12 hours the medium mode four hours the high mode 80 minutes and the turbo mode uh 70 minutes runtime you know, as far as the runtimes go, they are definitely not the greatest. Some of their other lights like the TT20, the T2 have much greater runtimes, but this one is a lot more small and compact. So I guess it's not too bad compared to its uh, size. Now the distance on this is gonna be 598 meters and it is gonna be waterproof. It's rated at IPX8, which means that you can uh, Definitely use this in the rain. You can dunk it in the water. If you drop it in a river or whatever, you know, you can pick it right back up. It's gonna work no problem at all. Uh, usually with these lights, they all do very well underwater. Only thing you gotta make sure as always is make sure the rubber piece for the connection port is nicely sealed. Sometimes you think they're sealed and they're not and uh, water can get in there. So just make sure that, you know, you have that pressed in and you know everything's tying up where the battery compartment goes and um you're good to um to get it all wet now before we go see this in action let's take a look at the battery here and see what's running this it is a smaller compact battery of course you know to keep this light compact but if you can see that is a 1100 milliamp battery let me try to focus that on there it's 3.7 volts this is going to be i don't know if you can see it but it's a 18 350 battery it is a proprietary battery. It is through night branded, but this is the little thing that's gonna power this uh, flashlight here. So this light does have strobe also. The way you get to the strobe is you hit it three times. One, two, three. And then if you hold it down, it goes through the different strobe modes. It has beacon, hold it down. It has SOS. And then it has your regular strobe. All right, the way you're gonna lock this light is uh, once it's in the off position, you gotta hit this four times really quick, one, two, three, four, and it's gonna flash. The flash indicates that it's in the lockout mode, so now if you try to you know, press it to turn it on, it will not turn on. And the way you're gonna unlock this is uh, you're just gonna do it again. You're gonna hit it four times, one, two, three, four, and then you're off of lockout mode there. All right, so one thing that I do notice when you turn it on, it does have a, uh, more like a hot spot. It's a definitely noticeable hot spot. You know, just for instance, the one here on my left is the Catapult Mini. And then the one that I'm about to turn on on my right, this is gonna be the TT20. As you can see, the TT20, you know, it's a little bit more spread out, a little bit softer. 
and the catapult binny is going to be definitely a little bit more directed uh, you can see the circle on there it is definitely more like a spotlight a directed light you know and i know you can't see this on camera but this is me going back all the way to the front there and the light it, you know the hot spot stays the same it's a uh, definitely a directed hot spot on this light but as far as uh, 680 lumens, uh, let's take it outside and see uh, what it can really light up. All right, but that was it. You know, overall, my conclusion is that I like this light, more like a collector's light. It has a different shape to it, which gives it kind of a cool factor. But as far as like pocket carry, it's a little bit bigger than something like this. But look at the, the lens of it. It's like super wide, so it makes it a little bit awkward to carry in your pocket. So as far as like EDC carry, I don't think this would be the most comfortable. But uh, you can definitely throw this in your pocket if you wanted to, you know, especially if you don't really carry anything else in your pocket. This would work for something like that. All right, guys, I hope that helped you out. Leave any comments down below if you have like any questions about the lights, the functions, anything like that, that this thing does. I do appreciate you guys watching and we will catch you guys next time. Peace out.